Hello beautiful Sagittarius, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's get the overall energy for your love reading for this week and see what is happening in love for our beautiful Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see. The overall energy is your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. All right, we just had one. And let's see what else we have for your love life at this time. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Good. Beautiful energy. And we also have it's time to take action. And Sag, you are so good at taking action. What I am going to do is I'm going to give you the table shot when we clarify the cards. And in the meantime, let's hop into this reading. So for Sagittarius, please, Spirit, give us the best and highest messages for Sagittarius in love. Best and highest messages for Sagittarius in love. One more shuffle. Best and highest messages, clear messages for Sagittarius in love. Okay, so let's go here. We're going to cut the deck and we are on it. All right, so Sagittarius, in the recent past, you've been feeling very hopeful. You've been dreaming your dreams. You've been keeping your heart in a very pure space, beautiful Aquarius energy. You really know what you want. You have clarity. You really require a relationship in which there is a spiritual core. Nothing short of that will really be good enough. And that is just hopes and dreams for love coming true is the meaning of this card. You are really headed in the right direction, Sagittarius. Love it. The current energy that you have is you are healing from something, a relationship, some situationship. Um, your heart is definitely close by. You know, when you when you take a nap or when you lay down, it looks as though you really think about someone um, with a lot of pain. You know, this is Four of Swords energy is Libra energy. There was something unbalanced about the relationship. So, so far you have Aquarius and Libra energy. How you view the situation going forward. You want new love. You want a new beginning in love or you want new love. This is very much watery, lovely energy, but it is a brand new meeting with someone you may not have met yet. So let's see what we have for how the world of singles views you, how the world is viewing you. Dynamic Sagittarius, this is your card. I love it when you show up in your reading. This is all about having, being big and bold and willing to go out there, willing to take a chance, willing to get into the fray. This speaks so beautifully of the passionate uh, energy that you bring to life and to love. And we see that you will have a lot of people who are interested in you in the near future. A lot of offers coming in. Up to eight offers, Sagittarius. <laughs> really nice energy. You might not have that much energy. All right. Let's see in your heart space how your person in the past is feeling about you. They're feeling very heartbroken. So we see this energy of you might have been placed in a third-party situation. It looks like it was very painful, but... Uh, in your heart space, you know, you are healing and you're going to let yourself mend. Oh, here we go. This is why you have the Three of Swords. You have the sexy devil here. There is someone who is still watching you if you had a relationship uh, where somebody put you in a third party situation. This person is not going anywhere. They still want you. They have tremendous desire for you. Uh, again, the sexy devil is unbelievable. Look at glitter in his hair. And if you look down here, he makes an offer in the near future, but it comes with strings attached, okay? So Capricorn energy, the Three of Swords is, again, Libra energy. So let's see what else we have. Oh, what is hidden in this situation between you and your person? is a desire to be successful. There are a lot of eyes looking at you, looking at both of you. Whatever you think is hidden is coming to light. This is also the energy that says, Sag, that you absolutely are not going to accept being anybody's hidden little secret or dirty little secret. This basically tells me that you're in the energy of an absolutely insisting on getting what you deserve, getting the recognition, you know, getting the place of honor at the table with this um, beautiful Leo energy. 
Um, you know, this is how we get to the Empress status, is by requiring people to do the right thing by us. All right, so what else do we have? Now, what is Spirit going to tell you for advice right now, Sagittarius, in your love life? What is Spirit giving you for a message for your love life at this time? Cut out anything that does not serve you, Queen of Swords. So Spirit is advising you to get rid of the sexy devil and have the courage to wait for new love because it is literally just off stage. It's like, you know, have you ever watched television? One, one guest arrives and leaves and then the next one comes on. That's what you have available to you, Sag. If you're, if you're able to really have your, um, you know, have your Queen of Swords energy and moment, Libra energy, it's all about the balance. Uh, spirit does say you should cut someone or something that doesn't serve you out of your life. What is your outcome for this week, Sag in Love? Let's see what is the outcome for Sag in Love. Before we clarify, and at which point I will give you the table shot. Look at this. Oh, you have someone coming in to give you a beautiful offer. That's Pisces energy, Knight of Cups energy. It's gorgeous. So you have someone waiting in the wings, just as I said a moment ago, to come and make you an offer and somebody who is not so challenging or difficult. So let's go ahead, before we clarify, and give you the table shot. All right, Sag, so there we go. There's the table shot. Let me see where my clarifiers are. Here they are. Okay. So let's look and see what the energy is for the... Uh, Aquarius card of the star. There will be an extended available that we'll dive in more deeply. We're going to look at in the extended. We'll look at the devil and the new offer coming in, and what way you are, what success quotient you are going to choose for yourself. These these rows are absolutely exquisite, with the exception of the bad boy, quote unquote. So. Seven of Wands, you know what? You want someone who's going to fight for a relationship with you. You are tired of standing back. You are very tired of just feeling as though you have to do all the work. And when we get the Seven of Wands energy, we are in Leo energy. You want someone who has the ability, the desire, and the fortitude to really come forward and give you this Seven of Wands energy. So it is a requirement. I like it. How do you get what you want unless you demand it? So when we look at the Four of Swords energy, it does look like it's here because somebody ghosted you or left you in the past. They left you out in the cold. The good news is about the Five of Coins is that that's more metaphorical. It's really, and the reason I say it's more of a psychological sort of fooling yourself is that the key is here, the lock is there. Basically what Spirit is saying is pull your head up, Sagittarius, look up. The solution, the key to happiness, the key to healing is right in front of you. The world card, okay, I like this energy. What we're seeing is that you're starting a brand new period of time that will culminate in a beautiful success story of love. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups clarified by the world card. You have been very, you've always been a very auspicious, kind-hearted, loving person. You've had some very good love events or, you know, relationships in your life, you are going for the gold. You are not willing to settle for anything that isn't on the up and up, okay? So beautiful energy, once again, when you stand your ground, it's very powerful for you, Sag. Why do we have the Eight of Wands? Everybody sees you as like this incredibly sexy person. I don't know what you're doing on the dance floor, but you're making all the right moves. So why do we have Sagittarius energy? Well, you want to go on an adventure. Sagittarius, you rule the ninth house. You may be going on a long-term road trip. You may be taking off to go, you know, to faraway places. That's what you are. You rule international travel, different cultures, you know, different uh, philosophical beliefs. And you are about to step into a new life in which you leave heartache behind. With that Queen of Swords energy, you are definitely following the advice of Spirit. Why is the Three of Swords here? But I love this energy. It's beautiful. 
you want what you want, you know, you are not going to ever be in a relationship with somebody who is married, even if they, you know, even if you didn't know, it's, I just see you in this energy of really making sure that there's no suspicious activity, you're not going to take anyone's word for their story, oh, I'm getting a divorce, oh, you know, I'm almost divorced, oh, I'm newly divorced. It really speaks to the fact that you are very much in command of your future here. You are very empowered spiritually because it just doesn't add up in your mind to do anything less. That beautiful star card also means that for some of you, you may be quite popular or well known. It also means that you may be dating somebody or in the, in the future, you are demanding that kind of energy. Look at this. The sexy devil is coming in full with absolutely everything they have to wear you down. They are going to fight for you. The ace of swords is that's the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Why is this person going to fight now for this relationship? What is it that they want from you? What is it that they're going to do? Rosie's nappy. Yeah, I love her. I love her so much. I love her when she joins me. Okay, nine of swords. Good. All right. So this person does kind of intimidate you. You know, they really knocked your confidence. They really put you in a situation, Sagittarius, that's not easy to do to a Sag, to knock somebody so far emotionally down that you would question, question yourself. You do have remorse and regret because it does look like, for some of you anyway, that you might have known about this person or you might have had suspicions about them that you may not have really um, paid attention to the warning signs. What is it about this person that is so compelling? Yep, they make you feel, they, it looks like they love bomb you. They make a lot of promises. Ace of Wands, they give you a lot of attention right up until they get on the horse and ride away. A lot of player energy here. It's all about the wands, it's not about the heart space. You want someone, though, who has passion. So the, the part that I see you carrying into the future with great success is you have the clarifier for the Six of Wands is giving up the fantasy of being somebody's special person with acknowledgement and stepping into your Empress energy here. You are stepping into the Empress energy so that you can really manifest a relationship that has honesty with someone who's single. So, and you know, somebody who's going to be there for you. What what do we see here for your Queen of Swords? What's going on with the Queen of Swords energy? We have the Three of Coins. So for some of you, you might have met this person through work. It's It looks like it could be awkward. I feel as though this person may still have the ability to contact you because of a work relationship, which does make it more, um, almost more difficult to deal with because it doesn't look like you can just say, I'm kicking that emotional mess to the curb and I'm going on with my life. It does look like they have some sort of access to you, which is trickier, but Sag, you can do it. That's also your energy, Sag. It really says that although you're, you're well informed about what player energy looks like, but it also gives you the ability to slip out Slip out the back, Jack. Was it, remember that song, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover? And it looks like you're you're well on your way here. Why do we have the Knight of Cups energy for our Sagittarius friends? Why is that here? You have a lot to say. But what I see is that you're really on the fast track. You are taking no prisoners as you run forward into your new life, Sagittarius, into new love, into a relationship with somebody who has sweetness, who has kindness, you know, who's very romantic, who's who really is um, someone who can be there in a way that isn't a third party situation. Now, nights don't always stay around, but sometimes we heal with a person. But we're going to go to the extended right now, and we're going to look at our Knight of Cups energy and the Devil energy and see what's going on with new love and how you're manifesting all this beautiful Empress energy by your smart choices. Sag, um, 
I would have to say thank you for being with me. I hope to see you at the extended. If not, see you in another video soon. Hopefully, thank you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.